This is my box turtle. She's a Florida box turtle. Um, this species is actually protected in Florida, but I happen to attain her because she's a rescue. Now, there are four different types of turtles uh, currently for sale in the pet trade. Uh, well, there are different types, uh, several more different types, but rarely ever are you going to come across those. The most common are the four. Um, one, three, one is called the three-toed box turtle. One is called the Gulf Coast box turtle. And then there's the ornate and the eastern. Um, now, the characteristics uh, that make her a box turtle are if you look down here, she's hinged on the bottom of her shell. The bottom her, of her shell is called the plastron. Now, she's hinged right here, which makes it possible for her to withdraw inside of her shell and then seal herself in almost like a box, which is why they're called box turtles. Now, this top section here is called the carap carapace or carapace. Um, it's basically the whole top shell here. Now, each plate on top of her shell is called a scoot. And this is something that you want to keep your eye on. These are, if there ever is any shell damage or infections or hemorrhaging underneath the shell, these plates, individual plates here, are what you're going to be watching for to make sure that they're uh, symmetrical and they don't have any bulging. Now, generally box turtles make r very good pets. They have great personalities. They like to be with people. They are uh, easy to hand feed. They enjoy company. Um, they are a little bit harder to keep than most species of turtles. However, it's well worth it. They, um, it's sad, but oftentimes box turtles will perish within six months of purchase simply because the, under, the care is not completely understood.